Hey y'all, it's Kelsey Janae. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you guys with another tutorial. So if you've seen my video, five easy pole dance spins for beginners, this video is gonna be just like that, except I'm gonna be showing you five spins that you can do on spin. So if you're new to pole dancing, you can actually get a pole that either spins or has a static mode or has both. My pole has both settings so I can use it on spin or on static. So today I'm going to be showing you five moves that you can do on spin if that's not something you have any experience with. Especially with spin, it's way more difficult I think than static pole because it's so easy for you to lose your balance, you get dizzy, and it's so much to control. So I just want to give you five easy spins that you can do as a beginner to help you get more experience with with using spin pole. So if you're looking to get a pole at home, I will leave mine linked down below. I got it from Amazon, or you can also check out this video up here where I tell you everything you need to know about getting a stripper pole at home in your bedroom, in your living room, or you can just check out my entire pole playlist where I have all of my pole dancing videos on there, or you can follow me on Instagram at Janeway so we can always stay connected there and you can see all of my actual pole dancing videos, but yeah. So if you're interested in learning some tricks that you can do on spin and you're a beginner, definitely keep on watching because this video is for you. Now before I get into this tutorial, I want to warm up first, so definitely make sure you warm up before you do any type of pole dancing. It's very important to make sure your muscles are warmed up and prepared for the exercise ahead. So right here you see me doing some low flow movement around the pole. You can also do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, anything to really get your heart rate up and your body warm. And also make sure you stretch, that's very important too. So the first spin that we're going to work on is our fairy spin. You're going to start with your inside hand up nice and high. Outside hand comes across your chest to grab the pole. The outside leg swings around in a circle to hook that ankle on the pole, pushing the opposite leg back. So I'm going to show you that again. So you're grabbing the pole, outside arm grabs across your chest. Outside leg comes around in a circle to hook that ankle on the pole, pushing the opposite leg back. Now, remember, the pole is on spin, so you don't have to do much work, but your arms and shoulders are going to be doing a lot of work. So work on this trick on both sides. Of course, you already know I'm going to say that, but see how long you can hold yourself up there. Try to do one rotation or two rotations or three, whatever is comfortable for your body. But working on these spins also helps to work as a pole conditioning exercise because you are working out your arms and shoulders a lot. So yeah, be prepared because we are in for a really good workout y'all The next spin that we're going to do is chair. So we're starting just like the fairy spin, that inside arm is up nice and high, except this time when you come around, your knees are going to come up towards your chest and together like you're taking a seat. Now this spin is a little bit more challenging, I'm not even going to lie, because once again, you're not only engaging your arms and your shoulders, right, but now you're really engaging your core to keep your knees together and close to your chest in that seated position. So once again, like all of the other spins, try this on both sides. Really pay attention to those arms to engage your shoulders to keep your body up and also make sure to really focus on engaging your core so that you can keep your legs up and together throughout this spin. Moving on, we're gonna work on our pencil spin now. 
This is another one of those moves that are great for pole conditioning. Now, my head's going to get cut off, so I'm sorry in advance. But all you're doing is taking your arms right above your head on the pole, reaching up to pull yourself up, remembering to really engage your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are rolled back and your chest is up nice and high and really engage your core as well to keep your legs together and remember to point those toes when you're doing this spin. This spin is all about engagement and control. So when you're practicing this, this will help a lot with not only your strength in your arms, but it will also help to engage your abs and help you with controlling your body throughout the different spins that you're doing. And now I have to put my shorts on for the next spin because we are gonna be doing our pulse it. One of my favorite moves to do, and it kind of gives you a chance to breathe once you get comfortable with it. So just like our pencil spin, our hands come slightly above our head and then we're just gonna pull ourselves up to come in this seated position. Now, I like to take one hand off the pole. You don't need to do that if you're not comfortable yet, but this is a great trick to do where you can kind of just sit there and look pretty and not do too much work. And if you're doing this in a routine or something like that or performing or working at the club, it doesn't require too much effort. You can kind of just sit up there, take a breath, breathe for a little bit, look really cute, look really pretty, and then come back down or go into whichever move you want to go into after that. And the last spin we're gonna do today is our back hook. Another one of my favorite moves that can transition into a lot of different things and also looks really pretty. Now, before I break this spin down, I just want you to pay attention to what my body is doing. As you can see here, I'm actually going backwards into the spin, hence the name back hook. So you're gonna start in the same position as all of the other tricks with that inside arm up high, but you're gonna follow that outside hand all the way around until you are going backwards and then simply bending your legs back to hook the pole in your knees. So again, you're just following that outside hand to come all the way around to then pick up your legs to hook the pole in that knee, making this pretty back hook shape. And of course you can step down or just take it all the way to the floor. Now here I'm just gonna show you a couple different ways to combo these spins. I'm going from my chair spin into my back hook and I love doing this combo because it's not only fun but it also looks really pretty. So you can do that or you can also do your pencil spin and from that go straight into your pulse it. Again, another very cute seamless transition that looks beautiful and is easy to do. So yeah, y'all, those are some basic tricks that you can do to help you get more comfortable with spin pole. And like I said before, these tricks are also good to do to help with pole conditioning to help you build that upper body strength that you need for pole dancing. So go ahead, work on these spins, have some fun with them. But as always, remember to be careful. As you can see with me right now, I'm wearing sweatpants on spin pole, which is kind of dangerous. I'm not even gonna lie because wearing clothes can make you slip off the pole. So just be careful. 
and be mindful when you're practicing. And of course, make sure you try both sides, warm up, stretch, all that good stuff. And tag me in your videos. If you have pole dancing videos that you post on Instagram and I've helped you at all, definitely tag me so I can see you guys working on these tricks and working on your pole journey. And I will see y'all next time. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you'd like to see any more tutorials like this. Definitely let me know in the comments, sis, I got you. Make sure you're subscribed, okay? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any time that I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Janae Way. And if you would like a virtual private lesson, because yes, I do those too, definitely get to my website, JanaeWay.com and book your virtual private lesson today. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.